It's awkward, isn't it? I mean, normally when you have this kind of market violence, you have very tangible things to point to. The tech bubble burst, um, the crash in 08, even the euro crisis in 2012. Is it oil that's driving? Is that sufficient to have taken this market into this kind of spin? Hard to see against the backdrop of a growing US economy, 5% unemployment, and China still growing in the 6% range. So that's the reason why fundamentally we're left scratching our heads saying, is there something smelly and nasty waiting out there? Possibly, or is the market just wrong? And the short-term markets can be quite irrational. Animal spirits take over. So the question is not, are we due for some form of correction? We probably were. Were we due for this kind of violence in this short period? This has been the worst market opening in January in history. Does the environment suggest a case that would bring that about? What do you think? I might let answer your own question. Does the environment suggest the justification for that level of violence? Not even close. The largest economy in the world, 17 trillion, is growing at 2 to 3 percent. The second largest economy in the world at 10 trillion, China, is growing at 6.9 percent. The world is, the global growth is still there. There are pockets of despair, obviously, Brazil and others, but global growth is there. The fundamentals don't suggest this kind of violence. In which case then, what smooths it out? Or is this the new normal that, people, that we have to live with and that your, your bank has to live with? One thing I can promise you, it's not the new normal, right? Markets <laughs> go in cycles. And if we lived in this state, you and I would be doing very different things with our lives. No, it's not the new normal. I think we can expect over time for reasonable minds to address the issues that have, and people to step in and uh, they'll start taking opportunities in this market. This is how you make money as a long-term investor. As a long-term investor. It's just trying to have the nerves and the stomach in the short term that causes the dyspepsia. If it was so easy, then everybody would be a winner in the market. It's not so easy. Let's talk about how you're moving, Morgan Stanley, and what you're moving. You, you, you've started a fundamental and radical rethinking, haven't you? Mm. Well, I think we're pretty much completed it, but yes. Yes. Project streamlining, yep. uh, the, the whole idea of moving around. Um, when, you, when you embark on something like this, mm. what, what's the thinking behind it as, as, in terms of the long-term strategy? Well, you, you start with what does the world environment look like for the sorts of products and services we offer? And the answer to that is in a global economic growth, we do well. Secondly, what parts of that do we do really well in? We do really well equities, we're number one in the world. M&A, we're number one or two every year. Equi uh, IPOs, we're number one in the world. Wealth management, we're number one or two. So we have really strong businesses. So this is your not worried at all. Yep. This is your very worried, and that means you're about so where are you? life. No, about 2016, because you just said, sir, you just said the worst January in history for the opening of the market for yeah. the first few weeks. So where are you? I'm a little under five, four and a half, wherever that is. Four and a half. 